Hi all, uh, so welcome back to Military Relics. Today I'm going to show you, step by step, how to protect your clothing from moths and moth larvae and stuff like that. So let's get started. Alright, number one. Moths love wool. Wool, uh, cotton, other types of natural materials. Um, they, it's actually mostly the moth larvae, and then it eats up the wool and stuff, and that's how you get moth holes. Uh, they eat it up so then they can grow and then turn into moths and actual moths, stuff like that. You do not want that with your uniforms or whatever clothing you have. That's just, no, you do not want that. Uh, cause that destroys your collection of uniforms, whatever arrow you have, whatever type of uh, thing they're made out. I do this, I do this method. I'm gonna show you with my World War One uniforms, my World War II uniforms, Korean War uniforms, all my uniforms. Um, and it works. It kills a moth and it works. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, known method, but I'm gonna show you. Number two, keep your uniforms outside before doing this method. Uh, you do not want to bring them in. You do not want to bring in whatever is on your uniforms or your piece of clothing because you do not want the moths or the moth larvae, eggs, coming off in your house. That's just disgusting. You do not want your collection being eaten by moths because you'll have to do this for each and every one of your uniforms if they do get attacked by moths. Um, just not a good idea to bring in new, your new treasures, um, which are probably old if you're watching this. Um, do not want moths coming into your house. Number three. So, get some plastic bags, gallon size for, for hats, stuff like that, um, or stuff that can fit in gallon size bags. Get, and get two gallon size bags for jackets and these type of hats, the uh, these type of caps, because um, you need a bigger one for that. I only have one bag of these that I'm not using, so I'm just going to put this jacket in this one, but anyway, um, so get these bags, Christmas style, <laughs> and uh, let's get started on getting them in here. I'm doing the freezer method, if you didn't already know. Um, it's where you put your artifact. This is, I, I got this a couple days ago. Here, I'll put this in here. And if you can't put, if you can't um, do this right when uh, you get your item, Keep them in the car or the garage or somewhere you don't mind your uh, moths getting into. Um, here. You want to get all the air out. I mean, not obviously you can't get all of it out, but most of it. Get most of the air out. Um, like that. Now freezing them should not hurt the uh, artifacts, your uniforms, um, all it does is make a, make the uniforms colder. Um, it doesn't get them wet or anything, so you can keep, you can keep metal stuff on, um, metal insignia, stuff like that. You can keep all that on because it's just going to get it super duper cold, and that's what you want to kill the, uh, to kill the uh, moths and moth larvae.
So I wouldn't do this method for every piece of my clothing because I had a shirt that was covered in moth eggs and stuff like that. Um, and I am, it's in my freezer right now, but I do not trust it to come into my house. So I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners um, and hopefully they'll clean all that. Um, so if you have a piece of clothing that is covered in moth eggs, stuff like that, just take it to the dry cleaners. It's easier that way. But for regular clothing that you have, just stick it in the freezer and it decreases your chances of getting moths in your collection. I'm not going to say it like decreases it to 0% chance, but it de decreases your chances of getting moths in your collection, as I've said. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, you found it entertaining um, and helpful, and I hope you like it and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.